doesn't really ever matter how long it's been. It's always still kind of a, like, I always still have a lot of friends who are in the Coast Guard. And I always still um, look at their lives and see what would have been my life. In 2006, Bronwyn Tome was kicked out of the Coast Guard Academy for violating its don't ask, don't tell policy. During her sophomore year, she had confided in a cadet who turned her in, and Tome's Coast Guard career was immediately cut short. Tome was devastated, but at the same time, she doesn't look back today and say she wishes it never happened. That's, that's too hard of a philosophical question, just because then you have to sort of like imagine that everything that you've done since didn't happen and the people you know you don't know and just there's there's too much to that but um i liked the coast guard i was doing well on the coast guard i think i would have done well on the coast guard i think that the last six months were hard because i didn't have a job and everybody who graduated from there, no matter like how well or badly they'd done or what problems they had, had like a pretty good job in the Coast Guard doing things that I find to be interesting. In the spring of 2007, Tome joined the Soul Force Equality Ride. Riding on one of two buses that made 18 stops across the country, Tome was among 50 activists who visited colleges the group felt discriminate against homosexuals and they asked in advance to meet with staff and students. At the colleges that would not allow a meeting, Soul Force riders would stand vigil outside the school and hope people would come to them. They would also choose riders to walk onto the grounds and get arrested in a display of civil disobedience. I was really trying to listen and be open to them and, and was very vulnerable too because they were also confronting mine and challenging mine. Um, which was good. I mean, I think it's, it's good for you to let people challenge your beliefs, but sometimes enough is enough for a little while. Afterwards, Tome says, she was drained. And the prospect of returning to school to study science sounded really good. Mm -hmm. I had maybe at that moment just like run out of things to say and I'd said them all and you know maybe people listened or didn't but I just wanted to talk about ions and <laughs> yeah to this day one of the ride's lingering effects on Tome's life is in the public persona and reputation it created, same as with her Coast Guard Academy experience. It's like if you, if you Google Bronwyn Tome, it's like, <laughs> gay. <laughs> it's, it's kind of obnoxious, like, <laughs> but that's what happens. You know, nobody has ever told me that they didn't hire me because of the Google search, but okay, so I have an arrest record. I have. I was kicked out of the Coast Guard. So when I fill out job applications, you know those questions about have you ever been fired? Yes. Have you ever been kicked out of school? Yes. Have you ever had a misdemeanor? Yes. And then you write the explanations, but people don't always read that far. Like <laughs> they're just, you know, gonna read the application that didn't check yes to all those things. I mean, I do sort of like get excited by the idea that a Google search could turn up something else in the future that like maybe I'll do something else that will define me enough to like be on the, just to replace that. Not that I want to be all over Google, like I wouldn't mind if you Googled my name and nothing came up, but I wouldn't mind if the emphasis changed a little bit. I think I'd be happy about that.